Do you know why three meter long cables charge slower than two meter long cables? So for me to explain this, let's look back to the practical that you probably did at school. So at school, you probably remember having a length of wire and what you did was you used a meter ruler to measure the length of the wire and you used a voltmeter to measure the potential difference across the wire and the ammeter to measure the current for it. And what you're trying to do was prove if the longer wires have a higher resistance or shorter wires have a higher resistance. Okay, and how it works is, we remember in metal wires that you've got your positive metal ions and then you have your electrons that are trying to move through, okay? So if I make this wire really long, those electrons are gonna have loads of collisions with those positive metal ions. So we know that longer wires have a higher resistance. So what that means is, if I've got a really long wire, there's gonna be a big potential energy drop between the start of the wire and the end of the wire. So if my phone is at the end, that means that it's gonna take a really long time for my phone to charge, which is why I should use a short wire. Companies, if they make really long wires, they're supposed to make the wire thicker to counteract this, but because that costs more money, that's why when you buy a longer wire for the same price as a shorter wire, it takes much longer to charge your phone and never costs you more money in your electricity bills. Follow me for more content like this.